Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tanner from TanManBaseballFan.com. Uh, happy Friday to everybody. It's uh, about an hour and 15 minutes until uh, close of business here, and uh, I got a, a fantastic uh, notification from my wife earlier. Um, she said that I got a package, and so I uh, said, okay, well, that's cool. So I, I came downstairs, and I looked and opened up the door, and there were all of these. There are 10 packages. I wasn't expecting that. So pretty cool. Wanted to uh, open these guys on on screen here. And also, by the way, um, while I'm doing this, this is a Tops Vault version to start up with, start off with, by the way. Um, while I do this, I encourage you to check out TanManBaseballFan.com in the blog section. Um, it, what I've been doing is I've been uh, posting something that's, uh, with the uh, hashtag... Uh, Manny, I'm sorry, Photoshop Battle Manny. And what I did was I uh, had been Photoshopping Manny Ramirez whenever he uh, did that, uh, had that walk off home run in the, I guess it was the 2007 ALCS. It's been hilarious. There have been a bunch of us posting Photoshops, uh, Photoshop pictures and everything of him with his hands up in the air. It's been great. Uh, we've really enjoyed that. It's, it's actually a lot more, uh, um, what am I trying to say? It's uh, been a lot more, uh, a lot more participants there actually on the forums, like Blowout, Freedom, Beckett, so on and so forth, uh, Twitter and Facebook and everything. So check that out. Um, I'm posting some of the better ones, like I said, tmanbaseballfan.com uh, forward slash blog. So let me know what y'all think and, and feel free to add your own. So anyways, here are the first two. See, so yeah, these are uh, 1994 Tops Vault original images. These pictures were never used uh, in their products, but they were uh, they were meant to. They were taken to be used, but they just never were. So, of course, here are the Certificate of Authenticity. Still not completely certain what I think about those, but, you know, it's, it's kind of a... They're, they're neat pieces, especially because I have the year. I, I like that, that I can record them as a, as a 1994 item as opposed to just, you know, some random picture. I'm curious about this here. I don't know what this is. Um, so let me open this guy up. And, okay, it's like one of those Russian doll things. You've got a package inside of a package inside of a package. Ah. And, oh my goodness, ink. Very nice. So, for my customs that I do, of course, ink is important. That is not baseball. Uh, it's not baseball cards, but that's okay because it helps me to create cards. So, I'm happy that those came in. So, next up, let's see what we have here. We've got a loot crate box here. It's not loot crate that I got. It's just... You know, apparently somebody else's uh, loot crate in there, just using the box. Uh, I, have y'all ever heard of loot crate before? I've uh, I, I have a couple friends that that got some uh, loot crate pieces, and uh, they seem pretty happy with them. It's kind of a cool thing. I think they do this with uh, baseball cards as well. I'm not sure. I can't speak to the value. I'm sure that probably a lot of it's just uh, junk wax or something, but I cannot tell you for sure. So. All right, so what do we have in here? 2016 Archive Signature Series. And let's see which one this is. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is cool. This is a 1993 Topps Gold. It's from 2016 Archives. Uh, signature series. It's numbered to three. It's numbered one to three. And uh, the things that I like about this um, is, well, first of all, <laughs> it looks like they uh, uh, didn't completely center it in there. So I've got to, I've got to make sure it uh, centers up nicely. But um, anyway, the autograph, very nice. Autograph's beautiful. Uh, the gold, it matches all perfectly. And a lot of the reasons why I picked up this card uh, is because I've got a lot of variations of 1993 tops. This is uh, 
this is Canseco's first Ranger card as a tops uh, on tops. And so all the variations I could get of this, fantastic. I originally was not going to go for any 2016 uh, Topps Archive Signature Series cards that I already had a 2015 version of. And I do not have the gold version of this in 2015, but I'm willing to bet that in here somewhere the 2016 regular version of this is in there um, as well. And the, the only reason, the only reason why I got it is just because I like the card number one and number two. I'm just as I mentioned before, I'm, I'm a sucker for uh, having several variations of the same type of card. So that's that. I really like that card. And oh, here's something else I wanted to show y'all. Is you notice in some of the the buyback cards, uh, there's a notch here. Like this is a BCW card holder or a One Touch, I believe, as opposed to an Ultra Pro. So they've interchanged. I think for a lot of the lower number cards that I noticed, at least on, on, in my collection, is the BCW um, one touches are used for like the one of ones and, you know, the twos and threes perhaps. So there's a couple here also that I picked up uh, the other day that I showed off. Um, this one came in yesterday evening. This is an Ultra Pro. See, there's no notch there. This is a one of one. It's, it has the notch. One of one has the notch. One of one has the notch, and this is number two, 24, I believe. No notch, it's an Ultra Pro. So that's kind of an, an interesting thing here. Also, you see this, this is a one of one as well, and this has the notch too. So I don't know if there's, if they did that on purpose or why or what, but I thought that was kind of interesting that they used two different types. So let's go into the next one here, see what there is. Ah, the good old paper towel trick here to protect the card. Okay. Now this is 2016 Topps Archives Snapshot, and this is an autograph. Um, I, you know, this is kind of like a sneak attack for me on this because I didn't know that this was actually going to um, exist, that this version or that this type of card existed, uh, the set, because Topps seems like they just automatically decide like okay let's go ahead and throw out another uh, online exclusive so you can only get these through tops.com and the interesting thing about this um, is uh, a lot of people they, they would normally hem and haw on these types of cards oh you know tops is going just doing another money grab here and blah 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 well with this this has really received a lot of praise from collectors so oh yeah I really like the I really like the finish of it. it, and it looks like kind of an old-timey uh, photograph, the way they did it. This is the autograph, so this is, and it's hand-numbered as well. It's numbered 81 to 105. So I, and also, look, so I don't know why they use these goofball uh, pictures of, of Kinseiko on this, um, but I'll tell you what, I, I'd rather that than just the same pictures that they use over and over again. If you check out his 2016 Tops uh, archives, I think it looks like a 1979 picture. Looks like he's about to sneeze or something. I don't know why they use that. But anyways, I like that. I, I think it's a really cool card. I, I really do like that. Um, I'm glad they came out with those. I'm, I can't say that for all of the cards uh, that they come out with, but for that one, for sure, I do like it. Uh, and let's see here. Go to the next one. Oh, also the other thing I like about it is it's a Boston Red Sox card as opposed to Oakland A's because all of his newer cards, aside from the buybacks, obviously, um, seem to be for the Oakland Athletics. So I like that they are switching it up a bit. Okay, so this one, good job uh, to the uh, guy for using uh, painter's tape at the top. This is a 2014 Topps High Tech, uh, I believe it's the Clouds Diffractor autograph. It's numbered to 25. And the thing with this is I had this card already, but the reason why I'm happy uh, that I have this one now is because I actually traded my copy of this in a massive deal with that I did with somebody else um, that I'm actually gonna put a video of and do an article on 
uh, in whenever it gets here. So probably another day or two or so. Anyway, so this is this here it is. It's a it's a nice clean autograph, and it's a gosh, you, you know you can't go wrong with Topps Tech, right? I mean they just they've done a great job on that. So anyways, there that is. It's good. I I was only without that card for for probably one or two days. I think my version went in the mail two days ago. So that's cool. Okay, coming up next, we have, ah, yes, okay. Here's another 2016 Tops Archive snapshot, but this is the negative version. So you see there's no name, and I'm actually kind of curious about this. First of all, look at that, number to five. It's not the prettiest card in the world, but it's a, it's a, Definitely a, a really neat variation. I like that. You can see the difference between the two here. See that? Definitely love that card. That's really neat. Put this guy back in. All right, to my fellow Jose Canseco Super Collectors out there. You've got four more of them out there, so best of luck to you to, to getting them. And yeah, I really like those. Uh, really like those. It's neat. And here, I always had a nightmare of me opening up like this and taking off the top of one of the cards or something. That'd be awful. Anyways. All right, here this is. This is a 2000 Topps Chrome autograph. And so the great thing was is, is that when it comes to archives, uh, these hit hard and fast. So this is only number to eight and three of them were online at the same time. And uh, I missed out on the first two and uh, so this one went for half the price of the other guys. So I was happy that I missed out on those. So that's a, that's a nice one. So it says, thanks, Bob, uh, AAA collectibles. Well, thank you, Bob. I appreciate your, uh, saying this out. This is a, this is a cool card, especially because it's a Yankees card. It's a lot more, uh, desirable than maybe some of his other teams that he's been on. So pretty slick. Okay. We got, like three more to go. So let's see what this guy is. <laughs> I thought that I that I did cut the top off of that one because uh, I saw this at first. I was like, oh no. Um, anyway, so okay, look at this. So these are uh, silks. And I've got uh, two other versions of this, and I've been looking for these for a while. I actually saw these somewhere else um, online, and I kept asking the guy uh, about them, and he would never get back with me. So these hit eBay, and I picked them up uh, real cheap. So those are those are really neat. I'm I might actually take the silks off. And by the way, when I say silk, I mean it's literally, it's not print. It's actually like a silk type uh, deal there. So the two that I have already, you can take a look at uh, CansecoCollector.com and you can see, uh, you search for silk and you'll see the two that I have. And the two that I have, they're just these pieces. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I don't know if I'll keep this. It's kind of cool to, that they've had the gold stamping for this and they've got the stamp here and all that. So I'm not really sure, but I'll, I'll think about that. We'll we'll uh, we'll see what we do about that later. And okay, so we have two more left. Let's go with this brown box here. And this is. Sunbelt Bakery. Oh yeah, I love these. Uh, actually, I have no idea what they are. <laughs> oh man, some of these boxes, man, I'll tell you. 
different. But I do appreciate the the shipper uh, protecting, or at least trying to protect what's in it. So we'll we'll see what there is. Oh, okay. Well, this is a uh, porcelain, so this actually. Gosh, I hope that this is protected. Okay, here we go. Dugout Collections Golden Signature Series Tops. Open it up. Please be okay. All right, no breakage. Good. Okay, so you take a look at this. Um, this has a certificate of authenticity on, on the left side. It's, it's signed. It says, uh, let's see here. Something expires on December 31st, 1990. Uh, seal assigned it. Card is number 259 in a worldwide edition limited to 10,000 pieces. And so this is this is a cool card. Um, I want to see if I can lift this up here real quick because I'm kind of curious about the back. And I'll tell you why in a second here. Okay. So, you see this, it has the gold numbering, it says 259 of 10,000, which is cool. Um, the reason why I got this, number one, I don't have this, but number two, I used to have this card. Um, this was uh, a card that was from my childhood, um, if I remember correctly. I'm going to have to look through some pictures. I don't know if I had the, the gold signature section uh, of it, but... It was a neat piece, and actually about a year or so ago, I picked up a collection that had this as well. And you never see these, especially with the oak holder, whatever it is, um, online. I mean, I, I just, I don't really, I don't know if I've ever seen them online for Kinseiko, but uh, I'm glad that I uh, recouped what I had from my childhood collection. But also, the one that I picked up from a year ago uh, from a collection was... The exact same thing here, but if you look on the back of this, it says proof in gold, and right here it says proof. So it looks like I had the the much rarer version already uh, that's in my collection right now, and now I have this. And let me let me take a look and see real quick if I have this. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, this is actually was handy in my closet, so. That's kind of interesting. There are two different holders there too. So take a look at this one. See that? You see this? So you see you're right there. Uh, I don't know if you can read it, but that says proof as opposed to the number in the back of this says proof. So that's kind of a, that's a cool thing. I'm glad I, I picked up the other version. So uh, I highly doubt there are 10,000 of these made. I don't, I haven't seen, I don't even know if they're, if 10% uh, of these were made like that or if 1% were made like this because they're just, they're so hard to come by. There's not a huge market for them uh, except for actual collectors, uh, player collectors and that sort of thing. So they made uh, those porcelain cards for a lot of different types of uh, players. So um, anyway, uh, this is the last piece. So let's go ahead and cut this puppy open and see what there is. I think I feel a one touch. So that generally means uh, archives but let's see if I'm right or not here this guy does not want to come out don't be shy yep see the top here almost and here we go Um, 
this is. Oh yeah, there we go. 1998 Tops Chrome Canseco, and it's a one of three. And there it is. It's very nice, very nice. I love the Chrome cards, especially when they autograph them and everything like that. So, all right. Well, let's do a quick recap of everything. Now that everything's open, so we have the Chrome that uh, I just opened up. We have the two 94 Tops Vault uh, pictures. We have the two 88 Silks. We have the 2000 Tops Chrome numbered to eight uh, archives. 2014 Tech Cloud Diffractor number to 25 autograph. We have both the regular and the negative of 2016 archive snapshot and the black and white number to 10 is coming in. It's on its way. And last but not least, we have the 1993 Tops Gold 2016 archive signature series buyback number one of three. Uh, oh, and of course we have uh, the porcelain and the ink <laughs> for my printer. So um, I am not sure what my favorite is. I am going to have to say, I think it might just be this one just for, you know, my childhood memory's sake. Um, so that was a, quite a haul today, so thanks guys for sticking in there with me and uh, um, watching me open all this stuff. It's been fun, and uh, you know, keep your eye out at TamManBaseballFan.com. I'm always posting up stuff, of course, and uh, uh, same thing with my YouTube channel, YouTube.com forward slash TamManBaseballFan. You can uh, give me a shout out on Twitter at TamManBBFan, and I uh, hope you all have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you soon.